We generally do not give NASA scientists much attention, but for those aware of the commodification of education and the so many unethical issues that it has created, this article validates the obvious. At last, we have a study exposing the inefficiency of the education system, itself inducing exaggerated materialism and hyper-consumerism worldwide. All children are destined to protect the unfolding of life and society, and the universe gifted them with an incredible amount of unbiased creativity to achieve this task. Once education begins to interfere by imposing so many impractical social norms, something happens and kids lose their originality. All children have to be given the chance to develop what they are drawn to but too often passion and our consumerist frameworks evolve in contradiction, making it impossible for a young child to really follow his own path. And this will start changing dramatically as soon as kids learn the value of money and become aware of the parents expecting them to have so-called good careers. Such expectations often have dramatic consequences since their emotional development is interrupted. Planting the seeds of unhappiness and low self-esteem which will also develop exponentially as they grow up. The ever-increasing substance abuse is inherently linked to our inadequate education system, not to mention the side effects of genetic memories inherited from the parents who have been through the same inner conflicts. However, that very NASA study has also an amazing upside as it also gives us hope to heal humanity. Eventually, a new generation of kids will arise and help society initiate a much needed U-turn. The transformation could take up to a generation, but it is extremely encouraging. The NASA study focused on 1,600 children between the ages of 4 and 5, and what they found shocked them. This is a test that looks at the ability to come up with new, different and innovative ideas to problems. What percentage of those children do you think fell into the genius category of imagination? 98%. They decided then to prolong the study and test the children again at 10 years of age. Only 30% of those children fell into the genius category of imagination. And when the kid was tested at 15 years of age, the figure had dropped to 12%. What about adults, would you ask? How many are still in touch with their creative selves? After years of performing the same job routines and consumerism, sadly only 2%. The conclusion is simple and complex at once. Simple because it all comes down to respecting each other's journey without coercion. Complex because it merely means that our value system can no longer serve us in a post-capitalistic economy empowered by a resource-based economy. Psychology and philosophy needs a major overall, and this is our main area of focus here at Hearst Custodians. We intend, therefore, to release another video going much deeper into the issue at some point. It is key to realize how precious kids really are when allowed to freely explore their talent, without forcing on them the irrational value of money. After all, the only physical reality being that of our planet, which will have to support many generations to come.